Okay, in the last lesson, we looked at putting numbers into scientific notation from ordinary notation. So we're going to do the opposite in this one. It's very, very easy. We're just going to go from ordinary notation, or excuse me, from scientific notation into ordinary notation. So again, remember that a number larger than 1 is going to have a positive exponent and a number smaller than 1 would have a negative exponent. So I have this number 3.05 times 10 to the third power. So what I'm going to have to do is that decimal is going to have to move three places. Question is which way? If I move it three places this way, I would get a number that's less than 1. But I can't have that because this exponent is positive. So I must be moving it this way three places. Okay, so I'm just going to pick it up and go 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to fill in that little hole there with a 0. So this number is 3050. And I can just double check myself. My decimal is understood to be here in ordinary notation. If I move it 1, 2, 3 places, then I would have 3.05 times 10 to the third. Now let's take a look at this one. It's the same n numbers, 3.05, but our exponent is small or negative. That's because this is a number that is smaller than 1. So what I can do is move it over this direction three times. So I'm going to move it over 1, 2, 3. And I'm just filling in my holes with zeros. So that equals point zero zero three zero five. I can just double check myself since this is a negative number. Smaller than 1, I have a negative exponent. To put it back into scientific notation, I would have to move it over 1, 2, 3. So I can check to make sure I did it correctly. Now, let's take a look at this number, 7.9 times 10 to the fifth. I'm just going to rewrite it out here so I can have room. Again, I have a positive exponent. So I, gotta, I know I have to move my decimal five places, but the question is, do I move it five places this way or five places this way? If I move it five places this way, I'm going to come out with a number that's less than one. So we know that's not correct. So I'm going to have to move it over five places this way. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm just going to fill in my holes with zeros. So this number is equal to 7, 9, with 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros there. 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. Here, again, I have the same numbers, 7 and 9, but my exponent is negative, meaning that this number is actually smaller than 1. So I'm going to move it five places in the other direction. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this number so that I can have more room to move my decimal. Okay, so I'm going to go this way this time. One, two, three, four, five. So this number is equal to one, two, three, four, four zeros, seven, nine. 